Hello everyone. So in the previous video, we have discussed the factors like latitudinal extent and location. And today we are going to discuss uh, other factors. Uh, as you can see, I'm writing the factors like Himalayas and development of low pressure. Uh, then uh, we have our nearness to the sea. Uh, then uh, the altitudinal factor, jet streams, as well as the El Nino and La Nino effect. So all those factors plays and uh, plays a major role in the uh, in shaping the climate of our country. So first we are going to discuss the factor Himalayas. So Himalayas have a profound effect on the uh, on climate of our country. It is also termed as climatic barrier or climatic uh, divide. So as you can see here, the cold winds coming from the Central Asia are not allowed by the Himalayas to enter as well as the monsoonal winds during the summers are not allowed to escape the Indian subcontinent. So in case if the Himalayas are not present, the cold winds will be able to penetrate the Indian subcontinent and the monsoonal winds will escape the Indian subcontinent. In this way, the Himalayas plays a vital role in shaping the climate of our country. So the another factor is development of low pressure. So during the summer months, the central part of our country receives direct rays of the sun. As a matter of fact, the temperature increases. So with the increase of temperature, low pressure is developed in a central part of our country. Now those low pressure will help in attracting the monsoonal winds from the surrounding seas. In this way, the development of low pressure affect the climate of our country. So another factor is nearness to the sea. So the coastal areas of our country will have a different type of climate. The interior part has different type of climate. The coastal areas will have maritime type of climatic condition, whereas the central India, the interior part as a told, will have continental type of climatic conditions. Now, maritime climatic conditions means neither too hot nor too cold, whereas continental means extreme type of climate, very hot in summer, very cold in winter. Now, maritime type of climatic condition is because of the constant exchange of air that is the land breeze and sea breeze. Whereas the interior part will have continental type of climate since it lies far away from the sea and there is no exchange of A. And in this way, the climatic conditions differ from the coastal areas to the marine areas. So another factor is the jet streams. Now jet streams means the winds which are blowing at a higher speed which is above 6 km from the ground surface. So now we are going to see how the westerlies affect the climate of our country. Basically, are uh, two types: westerlies and uh, stellies. Now, those westerlies wind blows from the west, and it's a cold wind. And easterlies blows from the eastern side, and it's warm winds. And uh, westerlies in winter, stellies in summer. Now let us see how it affects the climate. The winter season, the temperature is already low in the central part of our country, which results in high pressure. And when westerlies blows from the western side, since it is a cold wind, it will it will further decrease the temperature and the high pressure increases more. Whereas the surrounding sea will be in the low pressure and the winds will start blowing from high pressure to low pressure. Now, during the summer season, the warm easterlies blows from the eastern part and increases the temperature, which further makes the low pressure in the northern part of our country more strong and it attracts the monsoonal winds from the surrounding sea. So, in this way, the jet stream affects the climate of our country. So the next topic is the effect of El Nino on the climate of India. Generally, it's a very vast topic, but uh, I'll try to be very brief here. 
basically el nino is a warm ocean current which are formed on the uh, coast of peruvian region which creates a low pressure zone in those places whereas the countries in the uh, asian land masses will be a little bit colder compared to those places and creates a high pressure zone and the, hence the wind will start blowing from indian ocean towards the south pacific ocean making the asian countries drier so now the another factor is uh, altitude altitude means height so in the mountainous areas it's much more colder than the uh, neighboring plain areas because higher heights always results in lower temperature now uh, why it is so is because of normal lapse rate now what is normal lapse rate with the increase in height of uh, by 165 meter temperature decreases by 1 degree celsius okay this is normal lapse rate means like at the ground surface if it is 20 degrees celsius with the ascent of 165 meter it becomes 19 degrees celsius another 165 meter it becomes 18 degrees celsius so in that way with 165 meter in height temperature decreased by 1 degree celsius that is normal lapse rate now why normal lapse rate takes place is because of the air um, column the air is much more denser at the lower region so when the sun rays comes towards the earth's surface the heat is absorbed by the atmosphere okay so more denser air more heat is absorbed more less dense air or the air is less dense then it will absorb less heat okay so more heat absorption higher temperature less heat absorption lower temperature so in that way with, with the ascent of height the heat absorption decreases as well the temperature also so those are the factors which affects the climatic conditions of our country so that is the reason the himalayas are much more colder than the surrounding areas okay for example we can take delhi and simla so delhi is much more warmer because it is in the lower areas whereas simla it is in the higher altitude so it's much more colder so that is uh, that with this we come to the end of the uh, factors affecting the climate of our country.